Innovation is the ability to see change as an opportunity, not a threat. Welcome to Story Makers. My name is Keshav Puri and today on the show, I have somebody who is a great leader, innovator and has always seen innovation as a lovely opportunity and has always grabbed the opportunity. Let's welcome on the show, Mr. Rather, Dr. Yeah. <laughs> Pavanpreet Singh, who is the founder and director of uh, VP Group. Uh, and uh, first of all, just to mention, the VP Group is into a lot of segments. I like to mention that. One is broadcast, telecom, IT, and now you've entered EV. Yeah. So, uh, hello, and how are you doing today? I'm good. Thank you, Keshav, for giving me this opportunity. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, first of all, I would like to correct you. It was not Mr. It is doctor. Uh, it is doctor. So, yes. this guy is a... First of all, if you are a good doctor, why you want to be an entrepreneur, man? Actually, I am an entrepreneur turned doctor. I am a tech geek okay. turned into a doctor. Ah, turned into doctor. Lovely. So, uh, just to take start from there only, can you help us with the journey of yours as an IT entrepreneur? And uh, please take us through your earlier days when you just started off, you've just came out of the college maybe, a um, few odd jobs, please help us with that. So uh, talking about my journey, so uh, I was a tech geek right from the school itself, not even college. So I attended medical college, so I'm a doctor. So during uh, the initial uh, days of college itself, I uh, started my venture. Mm -hmm. So I uh, took admission in 2015 itself and our okay. venture is also, uh, we started uh, the VP group in 2015 itself. Okay. Uh, it was my pa uh, grandparents dream that the grandson uh, would be a doctor. Uh -huh. So me being a tech geek, nice. then later I took medical and became a doctor. Right. So now that same old uh, tech. Uh, tech, has come uh, out. tech has come out. <laughs> so it has always been there. It will be always there. So first I'll talk about, um, uh, you know, uh, my internet, uh, which is the one you started with. Yes. So can you help us with that? How it all went and started and now grown up to such a big thing? So uh, my internet, as I told you, we started off in 2015. Right. So uh, it was a very small setup mm -hmm. based out of Punjab mm -hmm. uh, in a small town. Mm -hmm. So we started off from, from there. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, we promoted entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we, gave uh, we had a franchising model in that. Mm -hmm. So we gave uh, entrepreneurship opportunities to other uh, budding entrepreneurs as well. Mm -hmm. So that they can start internet services in their own hometowns Correct. across Punjab. So it will, uh, it will be beneficial for them. Mm -hmm. They will be uh, getting revenue and it, it will be beneficial for us also because we will be managing all the back-end operations and they will be catering to the customer service itself. So it was a win-win situation for all of them. So in that model we started off. So coming over for the next uh, two or three years, it uh, it was good growth. Mm -hmm. And then COVID, mm -hmm. I must say, uh, COVID pro provided us with that rocket launch mm -hmm. that we needed in the mm -hmm. industry. Mm -hmm. Because everyone at that, uh, during the COVID time, everyone uh, got to know the need of internet. Yeah. What is internet? They are in their homes locked. Exactly. They cannot do, they cannot go out. So exactly. internet, is, internet is the only way out. They uh, they came to know that internet is the sec uh, third most essential thing that they they want at that time. Right. True that. True that. True that. True that. So that's how you kind of uh, yes. uh, took that path and then the success happened. So, uh, so if you can help me with this, uh, what is my internet right now doing to enhance customer experience? Because I think that's the most important part for yes. your, like the job part, if I talk about, of the company. So as you know, uh, since internet is a very crowded field, so we are already uh, competing with big giants. Right. So competing with them, you need to be innovative. You need to have better service support. Mm -hmm. You need to have better plans, mm -hmm. better opportunities. Mm -hmm. So since uh, that gave uh, gave opportunity to us to start our own IPTV services by mm -hmm. the name of SkyPro. Right. SkyPro is our in-house brand. Right. So we took uh, permission from the MIB. Right. So then we started off with SkyPro. So the ulti the initial aim of SkyPro was to serve the only customers of my internet, which we were having our own customer base. Later on, uh, when we get uh, we got uh, we got a lot of queries from all across India. So we have also tied up with BSNL. Mm -hmm. Uh, to provide them IPTV services across uh, the entire North Indian states. Right. right so right. we'll be uh, having a enti the entire BSNL target audience mm -hmm. to have them watch our own IPTV services. IPTV services. But uh, what about the value add-ons that you are, uh, you know, adding probably? Which uh, see, internet is available, you know, through a lot of mediums. 
why somebody would come to you rather what value added services you are giving which makes it special so um, we call them as cord cutters okay so you don't need any uh, special uh, the additional uh, cable wiring so okay. it runs only on the on just a single bill okay. single wire okay. single service point mm -hmm. so we will be servicing uh, we will be providing them services of internet mm -hmm. iptv mm -hmm. ott and all the other value added services like surveillance and all right. so uh, the customer will be getting a single window mm -hmm. single window mm -hmm. single bill single service point right and everything is included in that yes every, everything is included mm, okay so that's a that that's one that's one umbrella where you get everything yes. and along with that local support because we have local franchises okay so they provide local support okay so they they can provide better support than my employees uh, running in that area true that because they know the area yes. locals know the area better and even because they know that uh, their revenue will suffer if customer customer goes mm, right so that's the main point that we we can provide better service than other providers right 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 so if anybody wants to collaborate with you or anybody wants to partner with you uh, right so how they can do that and how that partnership that collaboration is beneficial for them so uh, in case uh, in this scenario uh, we provide them uh, the entire franchise opportunity so right. we already have a franchise model right so we'll be putting the link in the description of the interview of course. so uh, they can visit the website of my internet and right. they get they can get all the details and right. they can fill a form right and uh, the representative will call right. them even I iptv also right yes 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 okay Mm -hmm. Okay. For, uh, for, IP, for IPTV, uh, we are we are also partnering with local IS, ISPs across the country. Mm -hmm. Be because since uh, there are not many IPTV providers in the country, so, uh, even in North India, we don't have any IPTV providers significantly working across the entire North India. Right. Okay. So we uh, we are partnering with the small small ISP which are present in across all the cities of North India and South India as well. Right. So we'll be providing them and the connectivity, and they can bundle the IPTV services along with their own internet services and uh, okay. give it to the customer. And that's how they can collaborate with yes. you and partner. Rather. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. So that partnership can be valuable for them as well. Exactly. Because they can uh, grab more of revenue. Yes. Right through the clients that they locally have. Yes, yes. Okay, got it, got it, got it. All right. Uh, so um, you know, I also got to know about the data center that you have, which is called Abacus. Yes. So. Uh, just first question goes to that that j let us know about uh, the that how abacus works and about this little journey that you can briefly tell so uh, coming from internet the very next thing is data centers as we all know right okay right. so we need a data center to run internet mm -hmm. basically the thing is this exactly so we already have around seven data centers running mm -hmm. across the country so uh, which facilitate uh, us to provide internet mm -hmm. to our customers mm -hmm. Right, so I also got to know about the data center that you have uh, by the name of Abacus. So Abacus, if I talk about, uh, can you tell me how it is different from others, other competitors available in the market in terms of services and quality, both? Okay, so talking about Abacus, so in Abacus we are setting up different pops all across the country. We plan to provide content of, uh, we plan to provide the entire web hosting or other data center services to the customers on a single digit latency mm -hmm. since latency is the key mm -hmm. in the data center market true so currently we are uh, we see that latency goes to around three digit four digits even mm -hmm. so in terms of international traffic we tend to provide a single digit latency to all the customers all the consumers across india mm -hmm. Uh, for our web hosting and the CDN services, okay. so it will provide a very seeming, uh, seamless. very seamless experience to mm -hmm. all the customers, including gaming customers as well. Okay. So it will uh, it will be a boon for the gaming customers. Yeah, and and that is actually a growing industry. Gaming yes. is a growing industry right now in India. Latency is the key in gaming. Right, 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 right. right. So oh, we wow. already have our own facilities, uh, data center facilities coming across, coming in one in Madhya Pradesh, mm -hmm. one in Karnataka, and one in Punjab. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we already have a shared data centers all across uh, seven other cities mm -hmm. in India. Mm -hmm. So we are planning to increase that number from seven to around fifty by the next year end. Okay. Okay, and that's how you are different from the other competitors exactly. available in the market because uh, latency is what you are heading to, right? Because th these are the data centers which are powered by an ISP. Right. So ISP knows how to uh, take the traffic in and out. Correct. Uh -huh. So that is the key. 
so that is why how can, that is how we can uh, get single digit latency, latency and yeah. provide services to our customers customers and that's how they can rather go to come to you yes rather going to anybody else yes got it got it so what is the next five years plans of abacus if i may ask you you know what are, what is your vision for next five years so uh, we plan uh, that each individual in this country might be using a website hosted on Abacus in the next five years, every day. Okay, wow. <laughs> that's a big challenge, I would rather say. So that's uh, a very big challenge. Very big challenge. But I think we can do it. Wow. So you have made a bold statement here. I, I would love to take that with me. But uh, I, I always think that, uh, you know, a single man cannot make the, the empire. You always require people, team, your family with you. Yes. So, uh, what do you have to say about your team and your family and their support? So, uh, talking about my biggest support, my biggest support is my father. Uh -huh. Okay. So, he supports me, no questions asked. Okay. If I say him, I want to do this, I want to do this uh, like this, uh -huh. he will be standing there with me uh -huh. to do that. Uh -huh. So, uh, uh, and in terms of team, I do have, I am blessed that I do have a very dedicated team of individuals who are core to my company. Mm -hmm. So, I can attribute my all my success to them itself. Mm, right. Yes. So, team support is the main support yes. uh, that you have and you uh, you are all uh, of your team, I believe. Right. Yes. Uh, that's, that's great. All right. Uh, so, I also got to know that uh, you've entered this EV charging station segment, right? And you've, you've opened a company named My EV Point. Yes. So, uh, first of all, what made you enter the EV sector, man? Like, what was your inspiration there? So, uh, the main inspiration there is Mr. Nitin Gadkari. Okay. So, he's like a role model for us. Right. Okay. So, uh, since EV is a very uh, fast charging, uh, sorry, uh, fast paced uh, growing segment. Growing industry. Yeah, growing industry. Yeah. So, that's why we wanted to enter into something sustainable. Right. Okay. So, that's why we... Uh, came into the EV, uh, EV segment. Okay. So we already have our customers all across the highways. We okay. have already, uh, okay. because we are already providing the internet services. Right, right. So, so we you, already you have, have the database. We have the database, we have the clients. Right. Is we already have the manpower to uh, maintain the, uh, the mm, machines. Just a one add-on there. Ju just one add-on. That's over it, there. that's it. Everything so is in place. Exactly. So, uh, so what are the plans in terms of EV charging stations so in the next year? Yeah, uh, so currently we have installed just around 25 uh, setups across mm -hmm. uh, Punjab and Haryana. So mm -hmm. we are looking forward to increase this count from 25 to around 4000 in the next one year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We already have a facility uh, in South India, so mm -hmm. we'll be using that to install the machines across uh, South India and for North India, we already have our office in uh, Punjab. Lovely. So, Pan India is yes. what your you know idea is to just go and hit it because I think EV is really growing fast Yes. and you've entered smartly at the right time, I feel yes. and uh, hopefully things will go good and better. Uh, in so, uh, somebody who is 20, 21, 22 just thought of that I want to become an entrepreneur in, in, the, in the same industry which is IT and data and all of that. Uh, and that person is facing a lot of hurdles, right, which that person never thought of. So, uh, what is, uh, you know, what do you say to that person that how to tackle those hurdles? So, I am also 27. I mm -hmm. started off when I was very young. I, I started off when I was 18. So, uh, the thing is that you have to, you always, you always should have a room to learn. Right. Okay. Right. You should always learn from your mistakes mm -hmm. either or you should learn from your achievements as well. Right. If you, have, achie you have achieved one thing and you should be planned to get another thing to another right. level also. Right. right. So, that is the main key. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, when, uh, when an entrepreneur is in the age of around 2022, 20, mm -hmm. so he has around, I think, uh, six, seven years to grow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. Got it. Of course. So, he should utilize those six years to either learn, grow and uh, have us have uh, and plant his uh, plant the seed for his entrepreneur mm -hmm. journey. Right. So, learning is something. Yes. Keep on learning. Keep Just on keep going, on learning. Learning, going, learning. We going. are also learning. Uh, I'm also learning now. Of course. I'm also learning about uh, the uh, new trends and data centers and EVs as well. Of course. Of so, course, of course. Uh, learning is the key. Mm -hmm. If you but don't learn, you're out of the business. Out of the That's business. Thing. Of course. Of course. Very well said there. Uh, thank right. you so thank much for you. being a part of Story thank Makers. You. Uh, you have a lovely story. And uh, I hope our audience has uh, learnt a lot from yeah. this. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, uh, lovely people, thank you so much for watching this episode. This was with me, Dr. Pavan Preet Singh, uh, founder and director of VP Group. I hope you learnt 
uh, from all all the things that he mentioned he said and uh, all the quotes he mentioned and all the learnings that he shared with you guys i hope to see you in the next episode with another successful and a great journey uh, till then keep watching story makers hello and welcome to story makers my name is keshav puri and i'm back again with another beautiful story and today we'll talk about a spiritual journey that has been led by a wonderful person before i make you meet the person i'd like to quote something which says good done anywhere is equivalent to good done everywhere and this person totally believes in the quote and he believes in doing in taking action so without further delay let's welcome global ambassador of peace shri guru majid paitankar who is a mystic social reformer and spiritual master uh, welcomes to st story makers how are you feeling today i am feeling great looking at you i am very energized <laughs> thank you thank you so much uh, so uh, the more i read about you the the more uh, good i feel about you because uh, the kind of journey you have uh, you have had in the past 10 years is amazing you started off at the age of 15 now you're 25 so if i just to give uh, your little brief to the to my lovely audience so you are a director of a pharmaceutical company at the age of 25 Uh, you're running a foundation which is called Zaria Foundation, which is helping people uh, reform their life, uh, you know, in a better way. Uh, you also practice and teach yoga, yoga, and you do ten other things with that. So uh, my question is, how do you manage all of that? First question. So first of all, to manage a, a, anything, you need to have great interest and involvement in it. True that. So I have interest in all of this, okay. and I love exploring. Okay. Things and implementing my ideas and making my dreams into a reality. Fantastic. So my interest drives me, mm. and I have one thing which I have done is kept this interest always alive and throbbing within myself. Wow. And you never get bored of things. No, I have. I always really? have something to do, some ideas, some okay. implementation, wow. some new uh, thoughts. Uh, if i ask you about the childhood how was your childhood uh, you know how was it and uh, how your parents treated you how your friends treated you and how they look up to you right now <laughs> when i was a child uh, i used to be very inspired uh -huh. from people who dress up spiritually who talks about spirituality uh -huh. when i was a child i you know saw a lot of uh, spiritual figures around me uh -huh. and when i used to see sadhus uh -huh. wearing orange uh -huh. and uh, peer and malvi right. wearing something else right. like who are these people they look very different from us what is so different in them right so that interest you know uh, brought me very close to the spiritual knowledge mm -hmm. and then uh, you know i started dressing up like them mm -hmm. so my family was like are why why are you tying a turban uh -huh. why you are so, so small but, right. you know, i just want to be, you know look like that and i want to know of them and when i was uh, a 6 years of age i walked into somebody else's house and there somebody a spiritual master was sitting and he was giving a discourse i ha hold his hand and like come to my home and i brought him home wow. and my mother that time she was pregnant uh, and she was not well i said go oh, bless my mother and something miraculous happens that uh, you know she she became well wow and then from that moment of time uh my peer saab ikbal qadri he entered my life and then for few years he was there then he disappeared i don't know where he was now we have met him after 14 years wow uh but uh, you know at a very small age when the motor neurons of a child is on in that age i you know got exposed to such personalities i got to know there is a knowledge beyond the knowledge which you are talking there is a school outside the classroom and from that i took a lot of inspiration mm -hmm. and that motivates me to know of what they know mm. and then i saw why all these people are going towards them like successful people who are right. good in business who have lots of money but they go to this spiritual people so what is that thing what they have mm -hmm. which these people don't have mm. i was traveling to uh, my college uh -huh. and then I saw a, a big, huge peacock okay. in the jungle. Okay. And today we call it mystical mountains of Murbar. Right. Uh, it's named after that incident. Peacock Hill is the name of that wow. uh, little hill. Okay. And when I saw that huge uh, bird, I was fascinated. And that bird was looking into my eyes, and I was like, Oh, why, why, what is this? Like, 
in before that i have never saw any a uh, peacock in my life uh -huh. and then it was moving ahead and then looking back at me moving ahead and looking back back at me so, and then, so that peacock was calling you maybe yeah and uh -huh. it went inside oh. and then i was like i had an exam to uh, you know give and i went then after that i started coming again 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 months and months with cameras with my friends to take photograph right and one day i lost my friends uh -huh. and i was tired and i went and sa sat on a rock the moment i sat on a rock i felt like i am melting down right so i uh, something which i experienced which was beyond physical like how can a person melt like water on that rock wow and that rock that leaves that air and that breeze and me we all became one superb superb what a lovely journey man i was just with you when you were talking all of that i was with you like the <laughs> bubbles I had I had the peacock there. I had the hill there. Uh, fantastic. So now uh, you are uh, a, a director of a pharmaceutical company, right? So you are a proper a corporate guy, if I say, right? <laughs> yeah. You are because you're doing yeah. that, right? Yeah. And also you are a social reformer. Yeah. And you're hel you're helping people. You're becoming spiritual master for a lot of them out there. So how you balance both of them? Because they're both two worlds are very different from each other, and you're part of both of them. Scared your mother. Yeah, she is a wife. She is a mother. Yes, she is a homemaker. Yes, she do so many things. True that. So how does she manage it all? Yeah, because she is living it. True. So these are not two different worlds for me. In this very big world, I have this very small life in which these are different aspects of my life. Right, right. My spirituality helps me to do good governance, mm. to do good business, to do ethical practices of earning money. Right. So the spirituality makes me a very efficient. a right. director right. or the md of the uh, imperial pharma which i am uh, into right now right in the beginning only mm. when i was becoming a spiritual master i decided mm. i am not going to go and ask for funds give me donation no i am educated person i will earn i will you know run my mind and then i will use that money for the empowerment mm. of people our tagline of zaria international organization is empowering people supporting lives So we want to empower people and support, and support life in whichever way we can do. True that. Uh, so when I see this generation, right? If I talk about you at 25, I talk about people who are probably Gen Z, millennials, if that term comes along. And uh, when I talk about spirituality uh, to them, so they have their different definition, which mm -hmm. is not uh, what we read in books, yes. which is not what we have seen. Probably ancient history has told us. Uh, right now there's different definition of you know uh, all of this is coming out so what is your definition of spirituality spiritual means something which is non physical right something which you cannot touch or correct. hold correct now something which is non physical hmm. if it is a reality hmm. it must come in your experience true that if it is not in your experience it is superstition correct so i make a distinct you know uh, difference between hmm. superstition and spirituality if mm. it is a spiritual practice it must heal you from within you must be able to feel it right nowadays people are taking business uh, uh, ideas and business management skills from bhagavad gita true so bhagavad gita is still stands as a spiritual inspiration for the people who are in business so let's talk about zaria foundation which i have also heard about and there is a lot of talks happening about zaria uh there are a lot of things which zaria has a lot of uh, uh subs you know sub domains uh, are there in zaria mm -hmm. so if you can tell us about zaria and what are like top 3 things which are there uh, what uh, sure. you know how yoga is helping how spirituality and other aspects are helping are uh, helping people to make their life a, a better life so zaria international organization is dedicated to nurture human consciousness and supporting human life in terms of empowering them with the spiritual knowledge which will in a way unite people who are divided in terms of religion right i have found out 25 characters which are similar characters mean 25 people which are similar in uh, <coughs> the holy quran bhagavad gita vedas upanishad purana uh, taurad bible and so many religious book so same story about same people with different name in different religious scripture mm. and i'll give you an example like we all know moses moses is a very revered figure in judaism in islam he is referred to as a nabi a rasul and uh, moses has a story where he put his staff in the water the nile river 
and sorry in the sea and it becomes two and there is a way for him to go right the similar story uh, is in uh, uh, about about the krishna right that uh, yamuna uh, the krishna's feet touches yamuna yeah. yamuna becomes two and the vasudev carries his child and go like this there are many 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 stories i'll give you one more example uh, in islam we have a very revered figure figure his, no, his name is ibrahim and ibrahim's footprint are, are in front of the kaaba sharif right ibrahim is the forefather of prophet muhammad right so ibrahim was put into fire right because he said oh, okay don't worship idols mm. there is something beyond idols mm. so he was in that inner journey he was put into fire, fire. and uh, by namrud who was a king but the fire did not burn him mm. and he was sitting in the fire and fire became flower mm. now we have a same story about shri pralad right so pralad was put into fire Correct. nothing happened so nothing happened Correct. now pralad's son uh, is bali raja bali right and Ibra- ibrahim's son is ismail la asked that you know you give qurbani whatever is your precious so mm. he said my precious thing is my son mm. so he went and he tried uh, you know sacrificing his son but then allah saved him mm. it did not happen so bali means qurbani correct so <laughs> his son is ismail whose qurbani which is bali right. was asked but it did not happen right and in uh, hinduism his name is bali, bali. raja bali so that's how that's similarities that are similarities there similarities are there zaria has a sub initiative known as zaria international gurukul of kriya science right which is a school of yoga right where we teach uh, a kriya yoga right i would say if you love to know the answer of the question you can visit the zaria foundation website and you can uh, we'll help you with the details of the volunteers in the description of the video so that if in case you want to reach out to shri guru ji or any of his uh works that he do or probably any of his practices that he follows so you can surely connect to the volunteers global business summit that happened and you That's were invited right. there and uh, we also uh, the event was also graced by our very own prime minister narendra modi ji so how is the experience of global investor summit so it was a great pleasure they invited me the times group invited me to the right. global business summit right and uh, uh, we, we met prime minister we attended his session so i really want to connect uh, with you on one more topic which i feel is very relevant and important is the youth of india mm-hmm. young entrepreneurs uh, young people opening their companies organizations and heading towards the journey of entrepreneurial entrepreneurial journey journey of entrepreneurship now what is if you have seen uh, shark tank happening yeah right yeah i right. recently all met, the buzz uh, recently met namita aman okay in global business summit right they are really inspiring they inspire a lot of youth uh-huh. message to the youth is first identify yourself mm. are you really willing to do it or will that give you happiness if that gives you happiness that if it is that that's your passion definitely do it so if you meet a majid which is 15 years of age right now just starting with all the energy right uh, any one or probably two advice you would like to give to that guy who is your reflection but at 15 years of age what he can do better now and can achieve more and more probably at 24 25 this camera <laughs> major advice that one single voice which is very very little that one small voice which always directs you and guides you and you ignore it listen to that voice yeah. it is you your journey and listen to that one intuitive voice and that is going to take you to next level and that is a message for everyone and identify that one small voice which always tickles in your ears whenever you try to do something that is known as the intuitive voice the intuitive nature of human brain and you know have confidence and just go ahead another thing another advice which i would like to give is you know now when you choose a path where you have to offer yourself to society there's a lot of personal sacrifice which you have to make mm. there's a lot of uh, time which uh, our friends or our family which is their time that time you have to give it to society so be ready mm. be ready for that uh, sacrifice and sacrifice yourself and enjoy the process uh. because that will take you to the next height and that will that that will leave an impact of yours in this society because everybody dies and goes but what we leave back is what we are remembered of correct so i want to leave that impact imagine you want to leave that impact back <laughs> super in society super. 
so be ready <laughs> <laughs> so two things to take away one is you need to listen to your inner voice that intuitive yes voice that is coming to you back and forth and telling you do this do this and second uh, don't worry about the sacrifices you're doing exactly right because they are worth it exactly. they are required you have to do to become something in life right to achieve something uh, there's a dialogue in that movie kahi pahunchne ke liye pahunchne ke liye kahi se nikalna padta hai <laughs> Super! Thank you so much for taking our time. It was pleasure talking to you and uh, to understand uh, how you look at uh, the entrepreneurial journey, the spiritual journey, and uh, to to know more about. Like I got to know about your uh, journey as well, uh, which started off at fifteen, now at twenty five. Wow, what a graph! I see there. Thank you so much for Thank everything so much that you said you. today. All right, guys. So this was uh, Keshav Puri at Story Makers. Uh, today we got to learn a lot about uh, spirituality and how that one thing can impact all aspects of your life. I hope uh, you took away some great learnings from this interview, this video. I'll see you soon in the next one. Take care.